Okay, before any of you get mad, life has found its way of punishing me for being gone for so long. But I guess life has a way of kind of balancing itself out because I will never run out of these. I don't care if they're unhealthy, they're delicious. But this video isn't about me and my uh, recent absence. I'll explain why I was gone in a, in a later video, I promise. But for now, let's talk Spider-Man No Way Home. Okay, so I'm not bragging or anything, I, I'm, I'm, I, I promise you I'm not, but I just got tickets and I'm hyped. Not gonna lie, I have some theories. I, I know I'm um, like really, 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 really late to the party. I'm sorry about that. I feel like I want to throw my, my, uh, my ball in the ring. I want to, uh, no, I'm sorry. I want to throw my hat in the ring. Let's get into this. So, with this video, I think I want to tackle, like, character motivations and I guess the overall plot. So I'm going to start with the plot. Okay, so when it comes to... Sorry, there's a bug. When it comes to Spider-Man... Alright. This is what I'm thinking. Well, actually, no. When it just comes with a general plot, which includes Spider-Man. Basically, I'm thinking that... Well, obviously it starts where... I mean, if you've seen the clips online, it starts with Spider-Man's identity being revealed with, like, Mysterio and stuff. I don't think it's a spoiler, because... I mean, I haven't seen the movie yet, and the clips are online, but, uh, I guess mild spoilers. I'm sorry, spoilers ahead, I guess. Anywho, so I'm thinking it starts with Spider-Man, you know, getting his identity revealed and all that stuff, and I think eventually, I mean, like, initially he's, like, arrested, like, eventually cornered, like, at home and stuff like that, but then that's when my boy, Matt Murdock, a.k.a. Daredevil, comes in, and it's like, Bruh, I'm getting some superhero vibes off you, my guy. I know you're innocent, alright? And let me prove it. And then he does, because he wins the case because he's Daredevil. So bam, after getting Spider-Man off, the charges, after getting the charges dropped and all that stuff, I'm thinking life still isn't great for Spider-Man and stuff like that, and I think I'm going to go with that theory that that black and gold suit is actually his spider suit like inside out I think that'd be cool and like kind of in line with the character but then with life still being trash and stuff like that and then him wanting to go off to college uh, he wants this kind of behind him which is why he goes to Doctor Strange right does this whole thing with Doctor Strange be like yo remove the knowledge of me being Spider-Man from the world blah 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 and then he screws up the spell Obviously. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna stop right here. Alright, I'm gonna stop right here and I'm gonna go over villain motivations and stuff like that. Go with me here. Alright, let's start from the top. Green Goblin. I think, and this is just my theory, I'm thinking the moment that when he's like pulled into our reality is like the moment he's about to die. I mean, like, he doesn't die, but like the moment that he's about to die. And the reason I'm saying that is because with Dr. Octopus, if you watch the bridge clip, um, he's talking about his machine and stuff like that, like what happened to his machine. So, this is obviously the Dr. Octopus before he died and sacrificed himself destroying his machine, because he's blaming Spider-Man for his machine. So, I'm thinking that might apply to all of the other villains, including Green Goblin. So, I'm thinking that in the moment, before he's about to be killed and he's sucked into our reality and whatnot, I think in his mind, I mean, it's kind of like um, the interview with Willem Dafoe when he was talking about, you know, Green Goblin and stuff like that, about how power is real, really important to him. I think it's kind of like that. Because if you know anything about Norman Osborn, he's an extremely prideful person. So I'm thinking that when he comes back, he's all about killing Spider-Man because Spider-Man beat him. I mean, that's really simple, but I, I'm thinking it's just kind of what it is, of just the... You beat me, and I hate that, and you're going to send me back to my reality and whatnot, so I have to beat you because I have to beat you. I hate you, Spider-Man. That kind of thing. And I think, and especially once, I mean, I think the villains will eventually find out, you know, that they're going to die if they go back to their reality, most of them anyway. 
So he is like, no, I'm gonna come back to this reality, like Spider Man's reality, and I'm gonna conquer this place. Spider Man's gonna stand in my way. Can't have that. So I would beat Spider Man. But I can't do things the way I did before. Which is why I think there's that trailer where his like suit is broken, like the mask specifically is like destroyed. I gotta take Spider-Man out, but not just me. I realize I'm not the only one who came to this reality, so I'm gonna get the band together and I'm gonna take on Spider-Man. I kind of think that's just what he's really about. <laughs> I'm sorry, part of me finds this kind of funny because they're going through all this trouble to kill this teenager. I mean... Imagine if they went the funny route, and then they, and then Green Goblin, he was like, "All right, listen, guys. All right, no more BS. All right, we're gonna kill this teenage kid because hell yeah." Um, but if I have more, I'll come back to Green Goblin. Anyway, I'm I'm gonna save Doctor Octopus for the end. All right, I'm gonna go with the ones that are like a little iffy. So first, Sandman. I have barely, I've, I mean, I haven't really seen anything of Flint Marco, you know, Sandman, like his human form or anything. I haven't seen anything of him throughout the, um, like any of the trailers or clips. I haven't seen anything like that. And I've been speculating why Sandman, of all people, is fighting Spider-Man. If you've seen Spider-Man 3, that's where this Sandman is coming from. It, it didn't really make sense because one, Sandman didn't die. And, and two, he kind of made amends with Spider-Man and then just kind of went his way. And three, his only reason for really being a bad guy was for his daughter. Which is in another reality. Which is in his reality. So if Spider-Man won and sent Sandman back, he'd be just sending him back to his reality. You know what I mean? Now I'm thinking that with Green Goblin, he was like, Okay, I'll make you a deal. Me and I both know that Spider-Man's going to send us both back. So, I am Norman Osborn, I'm really smart, and I'm a geneticist. I think that's what he is. I can give you a cure for your daughter. You don't need to pay me anything, all you need to do is help me fight Spider-Man. And, if you do me this solid and we stay in this reality, here's what I'll do. I'll not only cure your daughter, give you the means to do that free of charge, I will help you bring your family to this reality where nobody knows who you are and you'll start anew, no criminal record, you'll be good. Because as far as I'm aware, I've never seen anything of Flint Marco in the MCU. So I don't know if that character exists. I mean, there's the Elementals in Far From Home, but they weren't Sandman or Hydro Man or any of them. They were just the Elementals. So, I, so I'm thinking that, just go with me, that Sandman, Flint Marco, doesn't exist in the MCU. So, for him to be brought over here, this is like a fresh new start and stuff like that. So he's like, I'm Yeah, I'll bring my family over here. I'm not a criminal here. I'll, it'll just be cool. I'll do what you say if you just help me with you. Help me with this and help me cure my daughter. Alright? Sorry, next is the lizard. So, I don't really know with the lizard. Honestly, I'm thinking it's more like a Hulk Bruce Banner type of situation where the lizard is like look Dr. Connors sucks this is why I'm saying that because it's weird the lizard is even back at all because if you watch the amazing spider-man he I don't know if he was I mean he was basically cured so unless the lizard personality remained dormant because he just injected himself so many times and it's just a permanent part of his DNA, then that's the only reason I could see the lizard actually coming out. But with the lizard, I'm thinking that Green Goblin could just give him the means to just repress Dr. Connors so that the lizard personality is just forever in charge. Side note with the lizard, it'd be really cool if there was a moment when Dr. Strange captures him and he reverts back to Dr. Connors, and Dr. Connors is the one who's like, yeah, send me back to my, to my reality, because if you don't, I'm going to turn back into the lizard, and, I'm, and he's probably going to kill everybody. So just send me back to my reality, and let me just go back to jail, because I don't want to kill anyone. I don't want to hurt anyone. That's what I'm thinking with the lizard, and I hope with Dr. Connors. To that, we have Electro. Side note, I think that Fairy is obviously right about 
um, Electro getting an arc reactor and whatnot, and then helping and that channeling his power into him, so he can control his powers better and look human, which is what I think he wants. So I'm thinking, ooh, ooh. okay. So I, I got, I got, I got two theories. All right, and this is kind of go with uh, Amazing Spider-Man too. But anyway, go with me on this. So theory one, I'm thinking that. He just wants to be normal. I mean, not normal, but he just wants to go back to, you know, how he looked and stuff like that. And he's like, I don't want to go back to my reality where I'm a loser and dead. I want to stay here. And Spider-Man wants to send me back. And Green Goblin, he's like, going to prey on that and be like, Yeah, bro, I feel you. I don't want to go back to my reality either because I'm probably dead. So let's just fight Spider-Man so that we stay here. Done deal. Plus, I'm pretty sure he earns Electro's favor by actually stealing an arc reactor for him, or showing him how to, you know, where to get one, basically. Because I feel like Green Goblin has probably been in this reality the longest. I mean, him and Dr. Octopus, but I really feel like Green Goblin, when he shows up on the bridge scene, he just shows up, and then he just kind of leaves. And then he just goes to explore the reality and stuff like that. And then that's when he figures out everything including Stark Enterprises. So, when Electro shows up, he just shows him, Hey, arc reactor. Boom, bam, power control. You look handsome again. Also, Theory 2, and this is a little... Okay, it was cool when I first got the idea, but now I started to think it's kind of dumb. But, the other theory is just, um, Green Goblin preys on his whole, uh, obsession with, like, friends and being needed and stuff like that. And because he's worked with a goblin before, Willem the Fool for life. It's kind of dumb, but I'm just going to say it anyway. You know, I, I, I make a spoiler-filled video after that. Ultimately, this is going to be an awesome movie. I'm super hyped. If Andrew Garfield and, Sp and Tobey Maguire don't show up, <laughs> you're going to see me crying in the movie theater, all right? I'm going to be honest with you. That's just what's going to happen. I'm going to be honest with you, I'm kind of getting back into um, the whole YouTube thing. Turns out that life does not stop because you stop. You have to keep going. And I'm just going to, you know, push forward and stuff like that. Do the best I can. Thank you all for watching. Hold on, did I miss anything? I feel like I missed something. So when it comes to uh, Spider-Man showing up, I don't think they're going to show up early on in the movie. I think they're going to show up in the climax of the movie, in the final battle, like Endgame, where it's just, a, you know, Captain America's fighting Thanos, he's got Mjolnir like a G, and he's got his broken shield, and then that's when, on your left, and then that's when that shows up, and then I feel like it's going to be like that kind of moment, you know, we're all going to be crying, I mean, we're all going to be clapping in the theater of like, oh my god, uh, <clears throat> I'm like Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield showing up. Anyway, that's all for the video. Thank you. I'm gonna go check if my laundry's clean now. I'll be uh, I'll be seeing you around. It's been real. Nah, I, it's it's dumb.